Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you are new here, hello, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you are back, welcome back. Today I'm here with a small shop haul video and some happy mail. So uh, in these videos, I like to share with you all primarily just about some different small shops in the community. I really do try to try out new small shops uh, so that I can hopefully share with you all about what's new out there and stuff like that. I'm always open to suggestions. If you own a small shop or know of a small shop that you haven't seen me try or haven't seen me check out in a while, feel free to let me know. I would be more than happy to make a purchase and support that small shop if they have something that's calling my name. Uh, I also have a couple of happy mail things to show you on this video, uh, just some some very sweet things that were sent over by friends. So um, I will link to all of these shops down below in the description box. I'm also going to link to their socials. Some of these shops have Instagram or Facebook groups or Twitter, any, any sort of social media platform they have. I will do my best to link to. I would love to see you guys, even if you're not looking to make a purchase today, if you go and just heart a small shop on Etsy uh, or give them a follow on Instagram, those are really fantastic free ways to support small shops in the community and can really make a difference for them. And also it's a good way to stay up to date with when they release new products because a lot of these small shops are always coming out with new things <laughs> regularly. Um, and of course, as a reminder, please be kind to small shop owners because they're often just crafters alongside us that are working outside of their homes, just hustling and trying to provide some really beautiful handcrafted goodies for us to enjoy with our craft. So I'm going to start out with uh, some of the happy mail that's come in. And yeah, so uh, one of these in particular that I'm going to start with, this is from Alyssa, uh, who is one of my viewers and is so incredibly sweet. And I felt so terrible because uh, this was sitting in my P.O. box for much longer than I had realized. And the month of December was very hectic. And so she sent this to me a while back. I had sent her a message when I realized what happened and just was really, I apologized and I said, I'm so sorry. I don't want you to feel like I'm um, not appreciative and or anything like that. Like December was really difficult and she was so incredibly kind and gracious. So thank you, Alyssa, so much. Uh, or if it's Alisa, if I'm mispronouncing that, I do apologize. Um, but yeah, she's she's been a viewer and commenter and a friend here for a while, so it was super sweet of her. Uh, it looks like this particular package is from Butterfly Effect Wears, which I adore their pens, so she definitely knows me. <laughs> and she said this was just something that made her think of me. So, oh, here's a note. Okay, so when I saw this pen, I immediately thought you would like it. Hope you and your family are doing well. Happy belated birthday and happy holidays, Alyssa K. Thank you so much. <laughs> I really appreciate it. And I'm so sorry it took me so long to get to this, but I cannot wait to see what this is. So let's take a look. Oh, some goodies from Butterfly Effect Wears. Or maybe Alyssa tucked those in there. I'm not 100% sure. But I will save those. And I'll even use Butterfly Washi to wrap up their pens. Let's take a look. Oh my goodness, you guys, do you see this? <gasps> Alyssa, it's perfect. Look at that pink and that glitter. Oh my gosh, that is glorious and gorgeous. Thank you so, so, so much. You even picked a turning that I really enjoy as well. I love when their turning has a little bit of detail to it. <gasps> So pretty. Now, Butterfly Effect Wears pours their own blanks and has some of the most beautiful creations. So thank you, Alyssa. This is incredibly thoughtful, and I am positive that you will see it in a video soon. Pink is my favorite color, so I love all the glitter in there. It's such pretty details, like pink to like a little bit of purple. I love that you can see through it. 
absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Alyssa. I love it. You guys, if you haven't already, please go check out Butterfly Effect Wears. They have some incredibly, incredibly beautiful pens. So yay, happy mail. <laughs> I also wanted to show, I, I know that she didn't necessarily feel like I needed to share it on my channel, but I'm going to anyway, because one of these in particular is super pretty, but this is a gift that was sent over to me by my friend Kate, who she actually has a YouTube channel of her own, Diamond Painting and Dr. Pepper, that I'll link below. And she is the head of the design, like their rendering team at Diamond Art Club and has become a very dear friend of mine. Uh, but she knows and, and she shares a bit this newfound addiction. And no, this is not totally diamond painting related, except I'll call it diamond painting adjacent because I find, oops, let me not bump the camera there. I find diamond painting to be like a really good stim like the the sounds like the visual like the kinesthetic the sensory like it's all there for me and this it checks a similar box <laughs> so um i'll explain this is this is slime <laughs> this is from slime fantasies and yes okay so uh she th she sent me this it's like a, a slime pack it's like a little gift pack. Um, this is one of the slimes that she picked out and sent to me. It's Pink Sands Beach Cloud Cream Slime. With, it smells like scented suntan lotion. We're not going to play with it in here because I don't want to mix it up and, and use this as part of the small shop haul. But it smells amazing. And it is so fun to mix this all together. And it just looks so beautiful as well. Uh, but I've been trying out different slime shops just because it's just so fun. It's just so incredibly fun. And I was talking with my friend Emma, a fellow slime obsessed friend, and we've talked about doing like slime Saturdays in our Instagram stories. <laughs> uh, so I was thinking that maybe this Saturday, which is actually the, maybe the same day this video goes up or maybe the day before, then maybe I'll, I'll, I'll pull out that I'll show this slime and maybe play with it just really briefly in an Instagram story. So <laughs> that way it's like, if it's in stories, if it's not your jam, it's really easy to skip past. But anyway, it's from Slime Fantasies. There's some Slime 101 care stuff. And this is way different from like the slime you can get at like Target or Walmart or whatever. It's completely different. This is not your kid's slime. This is like there's all kinds of textures. I already, confession, I already played with this one, uh, rose gold slime, but you can just, it's completely different and it's so much fun to play with. It's a problem. Um, but yeah, I already pulled this one out. It smells so good, but rose gold. Look at the textures. Oh my gosh. So good. Anyway. So, um, I just wanted to show that. I know it's not technically diamond painting related, but it is happy mail and it's diamond painting like quasi adjacent because I'm making it. So this is from slime fantasies. There you go. If nothing else, go follow them on Instagram. And oh, this is activator. This is if your slime is too sticky, you just spritz, spritz, spritz. Um, whatever that sound was. Uh, if nothing else, go check them out on Instagram because those videos are mesmerizing to watch. It's a it's a real problem. <laughs> All right, you guys, let's get into the rest of my mail, which is uh, stuff that I have bought. And I want to start, we'll start with this package here. This is from Galloway's Gallery. Galloway's Gallery makes really adorable cover minders for diamond painting. Um, she has a really lovely variety. She moved off of Etsy maybe around a year ago and still is one of my go-to minder shops because her costs are really not bad at all. And she often has coupon codes. She's also super sweet. She, she sponsored Drills and Chills this past year and I just, I really like her minder selection. She always sends them in these pretty fabric bags. I'm guessing that she stitches herself. <laughs> They're always packaged really safely. She has everything like kind of broken out in categories on her website. So you can search like if you're like, I really want to see food themed minders <laughs> or, you know, space. Or if there's a particular fandom you're into, you can go and take a look. Like I said, she always packages it so carefully. There's bubble wrap, there's cardboards that, you know, when you're shipping magnets, like they kind of want to attach to each other and move and it's a whole thing. So she has this whole system where she d puts it in cardboard to help keep it stationary. And I, I, it's been a little while since I, I don't know, it hasn't been that long actually, I don't think. I'm trying to remember what all is in this order. But I wasn't shopping from her for a while because I was told not to by Jacqueline and Jamie because it was the holiday season. We were getting gifts for each other. So we weren't allowed to shop for ourselves. They're all, we're all minder fiends. It's a problem. Half the fun is collecting the accessories, right? Here we go. Ooh, hold on a second. Okay. 
So minor language warning here. This was my main motivation for ordering some minders. Uh, and Jacqueline or Jamie had sent it over to me. It was like Katie. So tiny tornado. Literally, that is what we call my youngest son, Micah. Like he, we've been calling him the tiny tornado forever. Like that's just what he is. He is a little like... <laughs> He's just a constantly whirling uh, craziness of destruction. Like he's the best and I adore him and I wouldn't change a single thing about him. But yeah, we call him the tiny, the tiny tornado. <laughs> uh, and then I am a sucker for all things dragon. And this just really made me chuckle. Again, apologies for the language, but it just, it really made me laugh and I had to have it. <laughs> this is the classic uh, Pirates of the Caribbean poster from the ride at, Dis at, at Disneyland. And I actually, I have my favorite, favorite, favorite bag that I have is a Harvey's brand seatbelt bag that is a poster tote with this poster on it. And I love it so much. This heart was a freebie. And this unicorn, I just thought was really cute. And I have some pretty unicorn kits in my stash. I thought that that would go well with it. So these are all from Galloway's Gallery. Uh, and the way that she packages them is so that the magnets sit in there and they don't go anywhere. <laughs> and and it's just, it's a really good way to, to ship them. And they're really nice quality and they're really inexpensive. So I will link to her shop below. You can go and take a look. I don't think she has any socials, uh, like Instagram or anything, but you can still go and, and take a look at what she has in her shop. So sorry, I had to pull one because I, I had gotten one as a gift for someone. So I had to hide that from you quickly. <laughs> All right, so uh, next up, this I've had for a while, literally. Look, October 28th, I don't, I don't wanna talk about it. I am finally almost caught up on my backlog of packages of, for small shop hauls. Uh, uh, but this was like not super time sensitive. This just had a couple of newer things from Muni made. I don't think there's no trays in here. I'm sure there's no trays in here. Uh, but there are some other new goodies from Muni made. Now Muni made is most well known for her diamond painting trays, I think. And um, see, look, it's even it's Halloween packaging. I'm just I'm dying at how long I've had this. Uh, most well known for her trays. They can be pretty tricky to get your hands on because they sell out like the fastest of anything ever. Um, but she has some other fun diamond painting accessories. She has diamond painting kits now. I just did a post review on one of them that I really incredibly loved. So please go and check her out. But back in October, <laughs> she added some new products that I wanted to try. <laughs> So you've probably seen these unboxed elsewhere, but I just, yeah, I'm going to show them to you anyway. For a little thank you card from her. Happy, I'm dying. Happy Halloween. <laughs> You're welcome to tease me as much as you want to. Okay. So here's her business card and there you go. Super amazing quality products. And look at the Halloween duck. I'm totally going to give that to Connor and Micah. Uh, so yeah, let me show you what we've got here. All right. So first, again, these are not new. I've, I think I've even unboxed some of these on my channel before, but, and she was the first one to bring this kind of diamond to market, but she added these amazing glitter drills to her shop. They're jellies with a glitter coating on top. So I got some in round and some in square. Hot pink squares, cute little branding on the bottom. But yeah, they're like a jelly drill, so they're semi-translucent, and there's like a gold sparkle on the top. Uh, so again, Muni Me was the first one to bring these to market, and she's always adding new colors. But even though I don't tend to do a lot of enhancements myself on my paintings, these were just too pretty to not grab. <laughs> Nothing else to look at. So uh, she has a lot more colors now. I think these are maybe some of the first colors that she had. And she offers them in both um, round and square. And then these, now these I got mostly to test. I don't know how much I will use them with any regularity, but you guys, she developed and added tray dividers for her trays. Uh, so I'll try to test one of these out in one of my next whip and chats just to see. Uh, but I got them for, are they the same size for the small and large trays? I think maybe, but you can put them in the tray and they've got cutouts in them. So it should like really grasp onto there really well and drills shouldn't shift from one section to the other. Um, so here's the instructions, how to insert it. You feel her here, a click. Shake your tray and ensure it won't move before pouring in drills. Of course, they're going to stand by their product and how to remove it. 
due to the delicate nature of shiny slash silky trays. Please take extra care to be gentle when using dividers with these. Okay, I love that she included some instructions. Thanks, Muni Maid. We cannot be held responsible for drill mix-ups. Please take care to check placement before pouring drills, my friends. Yep. You know, that's the thing with me is I would be so afraid that I would, that I'll mix them up. And we'll see. I don't know how much time it'll save to use these, but I want to try them out. So stay tuned. I will try to use those in an upcoming whip and chat just so we can play around with them. And these are much easier to get your hands on than the trays too. So there is, there is that. All right, you guys, the rest of my mail here is pen mail. And the joke, as always, is if you don't see pens in my videos, it's a cry for help. This first one I've had, okay, beginning of December. Not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, this is from Black Wolf Woodworks, one of my very, very favorite pen shops out there. Uh, always creating really interesting and new kinds of pens. And uh, I went on a bit of a buying spree with some of his pens here in November and December. And I think this is the last of them that has come in. So there's his business card. James Clevenger is the owner of Black Wolf Woodworks. I find following him on Facebook to be the most helpful way to stay up to date with his, like, when he pours new blanks and he creates other things besides just pens. But following him on Facebook seems to be the most helpful as far as staying up to date goes. I don't believe he includes tips with his pen, so I just, I keep back. I have some extras, but <gasps> yay. Oh, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It kind of has Halloween vibes, but also just generally like stormy vibes. I love this. So he pours these all himself. Uh, I think you could probably request a blank shape if you wanted to, but I literally never do. I'm just like, meh, I'm gonna let him just decide however he wants to turn it. So <laughs> um, I have a single placer tip. I'll just pop in one end and then I use some skinny metal multi-placers that I'll pop in the other, but I love that. It's such a lovely product. It's so pretty. So, 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 so pretty. And I don't have anything like this in my collection. So this was a must have for me. This is from Black Wolf Woodworks. I think he might have one more of this blank in his shop or it may have sold out, but I love it. So that's Black Wolf Woodworks. And then I somehow, you guys, I managed to not open this box yet. I don't know how I have avoided somehow opening this box. So I've been dying to get those, the pens inside of it. In here is a couple of pens from Swampwood. Uh, Swampwood uh, Swampwood Products, uh, he, I was just talking with him the other day, actually. Super, super, super nice guy. But he pours all of his own pen blanks, and that's really his primary business, is creating blanks. And then he will just intermittently, because he wants to show his craftsmanship and show how his blanks can look as diamond painting pens, um, he'll intermittently turn pens and then list them for sale. And at this point, they sell out just ridiculously quickly. It's unreal. <laughs> It's unreal, but his blanks are so beautiful. Um, I can't resist them. They're absolutely stunning. So uh, there he wrote it on the inside. I'm so thrilled you like the sparkling metals pens. They're so beautiful in hand. Enjoy. Thanks, Seth. So yes, I got a couple of the sparkling metals pens. Um, and I'm dying. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, so they're packaged really carefully in here. And let's take a look. <laughs> uh, like I said, he's primarily known for, I think, his blanks. Like there are a lot of pen turners that will buy his blanks and turn them. Um, and he just has been doing these amazing, like there's this metal series, uh, there's his rock candy series. They're just works of art. <gasps> I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, this is everything. This is everything. <laughs> so, isn't this stunning? I just couldn't believe my luck when I opened up the shop and saw that this was available and in stock. I've never checked out so fast in my life. Um, stunning, absolutely stunning. A, a work of art, I can't get over it. It's so pretty, it's so pretty. And it's so comfortable to hold. I like the turning style. I feel like it really shows off the blank well. Um, I have several of these that have stones in the middle and I have gotten pens from other turners before that will do similar embellishments and they fall off really easily. I, I use these pens a lot. Like I regularly have at least one in my rotation. Um, they see a lot of use and I have literally never had any of these stones fall out. So the craftsmanship is lovely, really, really lovely. And this, I'm a sucker for a good neutral and this is it. This is everything. <laughs> so that is one. 
And the second one, was this a coppery one? I'm trying to remember, like a coppery bronze. So someday I'll have to show all of my, my swamp wood pens. Cause I feel like they just, I can make a rainbow with them. I feel like they go really well together. I'm a mess. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a smarter way to do this. Okay. Yep. Look at that. Oh my gosh. <gasps> stunning just stunning so yeah it's like a coppery bronze and i love it i love it i love the hybrid like the gold flakes at the top and the solid at the bottom it's just unreal it's so beautiful and a neutral that goes with everything look at the sparkle amazing job these are from Swampwood, like I said. Uh, and you guys, you just got to favorite the Etsy shop. Follow him on Instagram and be ready because as, as soon as he restocks, they're gone. I, I swear it's just that fast. So you got to be there with the super fast fingers and just know you might have to try more than once. So thank you to Swampwood for creating such beautiful products. And um, I know that it's not like your primary thing to do diamond painting pens, but I sure appreciate that you have, have taken the time to create some that we all get to enjoy. So yeah, we got kind of a theme. Look, this is like the, the, the breakdown or like the draw this in your style, create this pen in your style with like the, the coppery orange and the black. <laughs> It's the little things I notice. All right, you guys, last package here. This one is from Butterfly Effect Wears, which yes, we already had one of these, uh, but Butterfly Effect Wears creates just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous blanks. So um, got another one from them. And yes, I find stabby tweezers to often be way more effective at opening <laughs> these packages than scissors, uh, as I still struggle. <laughs> Did I not quite get that? There we go. All right, so. I don't even remember which blank this was, but this was from, how far back did this one go? Beginning of December. So let's find out which blank was this. I'm not going to look at the invoice because we're going to be surprised when I open it together to see. So <laughs> that's kind of the fun thing about having a delayed small shop hauls. It's like, oh, it's Christmas because I didn't remember what it was. <laughs> so here we go. It's all wrapped up. Butterfly washi, butterfly sticker, all the fun stuff. Let's take a look. Which blank was this? They shipped it like the beginning of December. Where are you, washi tape? There we go. <gasps> That's right. Oh my gosh, yay. So you guys, they did a hybrid set of their, like their flagship, <laughs> their like banner blank, which is their black prismatic pearl which is an absolutely incredible like abalone style blank. It's unreal. It's so incredibly beautiful. And you guys know me. Well, you may know me. I love a hybrid. I love a hybrid. And when I saw that they were doing hybrids of this black prismatic pearl, I, yeah, that was a must have. That was absolutely a must have. So I think this is beautifully, beautifully done. This is gonna become one of my favorites. I just know it. Oh, that's so pretty. That's so, 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 so incredibly pretty. I wonder if they're due for another run of their black prismatic pearls. They've done several colorways in the prismatic pearl style and they're always so popular and so gorgeous. So yay, another butterfly effect wears beauty. You guys, I love all my pen turners that I buy from. Truly I do. I don't have favorites. Um, I like, these are some of my very favorites right here. I certainly couldn't put pick between them. Um, I just think that they all have something really wonderful to offer. And so why would I try to pick favorites? So anyway, you guys, that is the end of today's small shop haul. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope that this was fun to get to go through and see some goodies from some different small shops in the community. Like I said, I'm going to link to all these shops directly and, uh, as well as their socials. I would love so much for you to go and give them a follow on their respective social media platforms, give them a heart on their Etsy shop, that sort of thing. Uh, that can really, really be helpful to small shops. Thank you guys for watching. Like I said, let me know if you have any suggestions for shops that you would like me to try out and make a purchase from so I can support the small shop owners in our community. That is super, super important to me. So I love having the opportunity to do so. All right, my friends, thanks so much for hanging out. If you want to see lots more diamond painting content from me, including future small shop hauls, and I do lots of unboxings and I finish lots of kits, so you'll see reviews of those, uh, feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when I share new videos. All right, my friends, have an absolutely wonderful rest of your day, and I will chat with you in the next one. Bye.